Alright Tom, so today what we're going to do is just practice the basic fundamentals of flying. So climbs, turns, and descents. So what we're going to start with is just straight and level flight. So what you want to do is, you want to pick something out in the distance that you're kind of flying towards when you're kind of learning here. It helps you uh, kind of think outside the airplane. It's almost okay. like a heads up display. So we'll pick right at, yeah, so you got it set up right here on Cuyamaca Peak. So we'll set, just kind of point the airplane at that. Okay. Now when you make turns, you're gonna you're gonna pull over there with the stick. You know, if you want to turn right, you're gonna move the stick right. But you're also gonna push the rudder a little bit, and it should be about the same pressure you have in the stick, the same pressure in your feet. That makes sense. So if you want to turn right, however much you're pulling right, you need to push the same amount on that on the right pedal. And then when you level off, so we're making a slight turn now, and you slightly, since you're pressing back, or you're pushing the stick back the other way, you're slightly pressed on the left pedal then. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So, we'll go ahead and there's a mountain right over there. Make a turn over that direction. What we're doing right now, we're going to level off. We've just got up to 4,500 feet here. This is where we're going to level off. Okay. So, in order to... Uh, we're going to have the throttle set. You can pull it back slightly. It'll put it about 5,000 RPM. And so throttle is going to stay there for what we're doing now. And then if, if the airplane is climber descending, that's when you bring in the pitch. So uh, you kind of watch. You have your mountain out there. You kind of watch altitude. If the altitude is slowly climbing, you're going to slightly push forward. And then... Uh, you're going to slightly push forward to keep it at that altitude. And if it feels like the airplane's kind of fighting against you, that's where trim comes into play. So if we want it to, to stay the nose down, descending, you're going to push on the, on the top um, trim button here, and that's going to trim it down. Okay. Makes sense. Same thing if it's wanting to climb up or down, so you, can, I, you kind of hold the pitch, and then you adjust the trim to keep it there. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and make a right turn out back over to Cuyamac Peak. So you smoothly bring over on the stick, and then you slightly bring in the, the rudder. And that's what we coordinated turn. Now, if you didn't do that, the airplane might feel like it's slipping or skidding. Um, almost, it, it's exactly what it sounds like uh, if you're slipping or skidding, meaning the airplane's not in line with itself. The tail is either coming too far out or too far in during your turn. Do I need to work, keep the ball in the center? Is that what I'm trying to do? That's... The ball is kind of, um, it's a reference if you're doing it right. What you don't want to do is make a turn staring down at the ball because uh, you'll end up, you'll just create bad habits because usually what happens is you start a turn and you see the ball swing out and then all of a sudden you, you uh, adjust for it. But use it as a reference if you're using enough trim or, or enough uh, rudder or not. Okay. So if you make a turn and the ball swings one way or the other, you need to put more pressure um, whichever way ball is out. So if you have the, the cage here and the ball swings out over to the right, you need to put more right pedal up. If it swings over left, you need to put more left pedal up. Okay. So the ideal thing is to learn to do it by looking outside visually. So as you make this turn over here, let's make another turn left. You watch the nose out in front of you. See how it pivots as you make the turn? Uh -huh. And then once we kind of get established in the turn, the airplane starts to move. So go ahead and put, out, uh, put the airplane right on this next mountain here. And I want you to do it without doing any rudder, and you'll see what, what happens. It's what we call adverse yaw. So you have the airplane comes out here, and I don't use any rudder. Okay. And see how the nose kind of swings up? Yep. Watch, we'll turn the other way, and you see how it kind of it, it swings around. Uh -huh. Rather than a nice squared off turn, see how we use rudder in, and it stays right on our point out in front of us. These are called Dutch rolls. So it's kind of a way to practice using the rudder. So, okay. so we'll do it without rudder, trying to keep it right on that point, and you make these real nice turns here, and, it, and the node just swings all over the place. Now we're going to make these same pivoting turns here using rudder, and the airplane stays right on the point out in front of us. See that? Yep. That's how we know we're using the correct amount of rudder in our turns. Okay. So the next part of the fundamentals of flight... We're going to go ahead and do climbs first. So whenever you climb or descend, the sequence I want you to remember is pitch, power, trim. All right? Before climb, 
first thing you're going to do is pitch. And what I want you to do is just slightly pitch the nose up. Okay. That's about it right there. Just a couple degrees, a couple finger widths above the horizon. And then power. So I want you to go ahead and add full power for the climb. And then you're going to trim to keep the airplane in this configuration. And if you have this, go ahead and, if you have this, um, this sight picture out in front of you, you see here we're right at about 74 knots, which is a great cruise climb um, setting. So you look out in front of you and this is what it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll level off at 5,000 feet. Okay. Now, the way you're going to level off is the exact same way you got into this uh, climb here. You're going to pitch power trim. So you smoothly start pitching forward, pull the throttle back, back to our cruise sandwich. We're going to use about 5,000 RPM. And you can kind of listen for what it sounds like, and then go ahead and trim it so the airplane stays level. Okay. Right, right for a descent is the exact same thing. You're going to pitch power trim. So smoothly pitch down just a couple degrees. That's good right there. Now pull the power back. It's going to be about, for this sort of configuration, Probably about 4,500 RPM works good. You're just dropping it back, probably about two or 300 RPM. Now, if you wanted to send faster, you pull back more power, okay? And the same thing, you trim it so it stays in this configuration. And we'll level off again at 4,500 feet. So, Tom, that's the, the basics of flying, using the trim how to get established in a climb, a turn, or a descent. So you got it there for level off. You pitched up, add that power back in, and then trim it so it stays level. Good job.